So when I swipe up and down, do you see my face move with that? That is <laughs> creepy, bro. So hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Palmer here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about what happened to Photo Editor Pro. Now before the Samsung One UI update happened, and also before the Galaxy S10 series came, we did have an option inside of the photo gallery that said Photo Editor Pro. It is a tool, it is a feature to edit a whole bunch of photos, a bunch of different amazing options but a lot of people don't know where all of that was placed and how you're able to do photo editing now that Photo Editor Pro is gone. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you where everything is placed even after this update. So if you do have the Samsung One UI or if you have the Galaxy S10 series, I can show you how and where everything is placed as well as a secondary application you can use that does a lot more than what Photo Editor Pro is able to do. So if you don't really wanna use everything that Photo Editor Pro has, stay tuned for that application and I'll go in depth a little bit on that one, but I'll save that for a full video by itself because it can do a lot. So usually what you're able to do is on the very top right hand side, you can go into Photo Editor Pro, but now what you'll do is you'll tap on the screen and you go to this edit icon. Now inside of here, this is gonna give you all the different options. So as of right now, I do have my phone horizontal. When it is portrait, it's kind of set up just a little bit different, but with this one, you can transform the image so you can basically rotate it. You can also flip it if you want it to be mirrored. Uh, this option here is how it is pretty much set up if it's you know 16 by nine or one by one or free form. So you can kind of change some of those ones. And then this one right here, you can change the perspective. So if you want it to kind of change the perspective horizontally. Um, you can also change it vertically if you want it to you know, look just a little bit different. And then you also have your lasso option on the very top to pretty much cut something out of the photo. The next one above that is going to be all the different effects. So you can have the auto effect, you can make it look a little bit more warm, you can make it look cool. You can really kind of go through all of these here and change how you want your effect to look, your grayscale, classic, everything else. And so let's just go right back over into no effect. This one up here is going to be your stickers. If you wanted to add in different um, stickers into the picture for some reason, um, you'd also be able to have the option of doing text and you can change, you know, kind of how it's set up. If you want it to be right side, left side centered, um, you can go through some of the styles and also you can type in your words and everything else right there. Now, when we go back up over here, this is where you can also do some of the drawing. So if you would like to draw on the screen, um, you can do that as well. So I'm just going to discard that one, go back inside of editing. Um, and then now you also have this one on the very top that you can change the brightness. Um, so just by scrolling it left and right, you can change the brightness. You can also change the exposure, uh, the contrast, the saturation. You can also change the hue of the image. Um, and so what we're gonna do over here is you can either save it or you can also hit on reset. So what we're gonna do is go back over into this image again. Um, and then on the very top, when you go on the very right hand side, you also have the white balance. You can go to auto, you can make it towards daylight, 5,500K, 65K and, and all the rest of those ones. Also on the top of the phone, you have this little magic wand. And when you tap on that magic wand, it'll make a couple changes for you. And if you'd like to know what it did, just head over to the right hand side, look for a little orange dot. And then this will show you the changes of what it did. So it changed the exposure. It also changed the contrast as well as the resolution to give you this picture. Now the phone is in horizontal mode, so I'm going to flip it back up over into the portrait mode. So you can see that there is a reset and save button. Also these three little dots. So sometimes this does kind of hide when you're looking at your photo when it is in the uh, horizontal mode. So we'll put it back over into reset. Now the very last thing I do wanna show you is those top three dots on the very top. This is where you can see spot color. So spot color, this was one of those really cool things that you were able to do. It's something that I always love to show off and it pulls out one particular color. And then once you save on this, now you'd have to basically hit on save and then go back and then you can change the hue if there was a different color that you wanted these motorcycles to be. And you can also add in more color if you want it to pull out just a little bit more, um, which it's really just kind of this, uh, I don't know, ugly color of fall that's kind of on this uh, image here. And you can also delete some of the coloring off of the image. Um, let's say that we bring back the red. So you wanna go right where that crosshair is for red. And then if I only wanted my bike, to be red, you can hit on this little uh, erase button over here, and then now you can erase it to where now there's only one motorcycle that is red. Now the other thing that you can also do on the very top 
is going through with the style. So as you go through the style, you can make it look like kind of, kind of like a, a, a comic or watercolor. Um, you have this like blue ink or black ink. And as you go on through there, you can even do one that's like oil painting, but like how much of the oil painting do you want it to kind of look like? Uh, so if we go back again, again on the very top, you can go into also advanced. Inside of advanced, you can go through all the different colors and you can change the colors, pull the colors. You can change the hue of certain ones. You can change the dark and you can bring more shadows. Uh, you can also bring in more lights if you wanted to. You can bring in more of the highlighted areas. So there's a few things you can also change then also the backlight as well. So if you kind of want it to go a little bit brighter, you can also do it that way. So really everything is still here. You have your hue, you have your white balance, the, the exposure, the contrast, your letters. You can, you can draw on there. You can transform it the way you need it to. On the very top right hand side, you can do your spot color, the style, the advanced, and then about photo editor. This is just, you know, what is the uh, uh, running application or the version of the application of photo editor. So really everything is still here. You would just kind of have to go through and you can play with things on the very bottom, but also don't forget that when you go inside of here, you hit on that little uh, editing icon, you still have more things on the very top right hand side. And that's one of those important things because I think some people were looking for spot color or a little bit more things you can do that's a little bit more advanced than just kind of going through the lighting and things like that on the very bottom with exposure and saturation. So this is how you're able to edit the photos for the Photo Editor Pro. It's all there. It just kind of moved around a little bit, but I hope that this has helped you out. Now, if you would like to use a different application for editing some of these photos, is uh, there is an application that you can download that is called Snapseed. And when you open up Snapseed, you're gonna go inside of here and you're gonna choose what image you would like to edit. So let's say that we go back over into that motorcycle one, you can go through and change the looks if you want it to pop out or accentuate and you have like a morning photo that you can do. Um, and also outside of that, you have all of these tools. Now these are a ton of tools that you can play with. Now there is one thing I do wanna show you when you go through some of these tools is how you're able to kind of change a few things. So let's go through and change the HDR uh, scape. So as you go through here, you can set it up for people or nature. You can fine tune it or strong it. Uh, let's just go back over to the nature. But as you go through here, um, they, these are your little settings. So uh, when you go through the settings, you can also locate this by swiping up and down on the screen. So anywhere on this screen here within the app, here's the filter strength. And then you just simply swipe it left or right to change how much of that filter you want to be used. Now, once you got your filter pretty much set up, now you can just swipe it up and then now you're in brightness. And then you can change how much of a brightness you would like to happen with this image. And then you go up again and then this is where you can change the saturation. So really what you want to remember is when you're looking at this picture here, swiping up and down will give you different options. And then left and right is changing that particular option that you were set on. Or you can go inside of the settings here, go to your brightness, and then you can change it this way. So it's just one of those things that you can kind of go through on which one you know works better for you. For me, I just like swiping up and down and switching to whichever I would like to, to use. And then when you are done, you hit on that little check mark on the right hand side. Now there's a lot of tools in here. So you can do brush, you can do tonal contrast, glamour glow. So if you're showing a person's face, you can really glow um, all of their features. You can also go inside of portrait. So there's really no faces to be found on this one. Um, but inside of portrait, you can change how a person's head looks. Now to show off portrait just a little bit more, it is going to try to find a face. So if you're trying to do something, just head back over into open and let's scroll on down. And here's a, a face of mine here. Um, and let's go into tools. Let's go to portrait. So inside of here, it's going to find your face and you can do a whole bunch of different combos. You can also do a, a face, you know, spotlight if you kind of want that to kind of move up. You can do your skin uh, smoothing. So if you need to smooth your skin a little bit, you also can. Uh, you also have eye clarity. Um, there's a whole bunch of different crazy things. And so you can also set up, you know, different things on how your face is and all that stuff. But also let's go inside of tools. And there's another thing for head pose. Now this one is crazy. So when I swipe up and down, do you see my face move with that? That is <laughs> creepy, bro. So you can change where your face is. I'm sorry, this is just too amusing. You can change where your face is at, um, you know, so if your pose is a little off, you can also change it that way too. So it's, it's actually really fun. So you can change even your smile. 
Um, so if I was smiling, <laughs> sorry, if I was smiling, I'd be able to make my face just uh, smile just a little bit more. And you also have your uh, local or uh, the, the focal length. So you can change, you know, if you want your skin or your face to be a little bit uh, skinnier. Um, so it's just super fun. So swiping up and down will allow me to add more <laughs> of a smile. Uh, and you can also change the pupil size. So there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with inside of of, um, you know this application of snapseed so if you guys are really kind of not you know loving the new uh, photo editor pro that's on the galaxy s10 devices or the any of the devices that updated to android pi you are able to go through download snapseed i'll probably have another video talking about this just because not everybody is going to be still watching the video too right now some people might just be watching for the photo editor pro and that's it and then they completely missed out on on snapseed but other than that i hope that you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up also don't forget to hit on subscribe you can subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side that little red circle share this video with your friends and family and social media sites and outside of that i'll see you guys later